In Brazil's central region, north of Minas Gerais state, maintenance crews are at work servicing high-voltage transmission lines built and operated by China's State Grid Corporation. People that don't know much about this say, you are crazy working with this stuff, getting in the middle of these high-tension power lines. Looking from outside, it does feel like something from another world, supernatural. The energy comes from the Belo Monte Dam, the country's second largest hydroelectric power plant, built in the heart of the Amazon jungle in Brazil's northern state of Pará, which provides power to the metropolitan region of Rio de Janeiro in the country's southeastern region, one of the most populated and developed areas in the nation. The line can deliver 4,000 megawatts of energy, enough to cover 70% of the current electricity needs of Rio de Janeiro. The electricity is transmitted from the power plant to this station in the city of Paracambi, in the outskirts of Rio for distribution. This power line delivers more electricity than regular power lines. This means the inevitable loss of energy over long distances that happens in transmission is significantly reduced. Less waste means a smaller carbon footprint for the same amount of electricity produced and delivered. It's a, a green transmission technology and when we think about these green transmission technologies uh, because the, the towers that we are using because of the losses are smaller uh, the towers can be smaller uh, the, so in this way you don't have to cut so many trees however despite a reduction in deforestation the method is still used to clear a path for power lines in such cases, Brazilian law states investors need to plant trees elsewhere to make up for the loss of trees, and it's been done here in this national park in the state of Rio de Janeiro. We have uh, this kind of projects in, in the whole country, actually, in the states where the line crosses. Uh, in total, we have around 500 hectares of replanted reforestation areas. As maintenance crews prepare to work on transmission lines, they pray for protection in the workplace, while also thanking for the opportunity to be part of this project. For me, it's a big satisfaction to do this work. Our company is the biggest in Brazil in the area of transmission lines. And it has also a big impact on my family, because they depend on this job of mine to live. Generating and transmitting power can impact the environment, but there are technologies that can help reduce its carbon footprint while providing electricity over long distances. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro and Minas Gerais, Brazil.